welcome to another tutorial in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make this simple dress i'm going to use a denim fabric for the main body of the dress but in the middle here i'm going to be using an african print fabric and i'm going to have the same fabric all around the sleeve i'm going to use bias binding Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to cut this starting like a basic dress. And then over here in the middle, I'm going to be cutting this part off because we're going to be rejoining this part in the middle. So because of that, I need to add additional one inch to whatever I'm going to be using for my seam allowance. So the one inch will be to join it on this side half an inch and to join it on the side half an inch. Depending on you, you can add two additional inches, in which case you just do one inch this way, one inch this way for your sewing allowance to join this to this. So let's get started. I'm going to cut the front first, just because I don't have enough fabric this way to fold it into four and cut the front and the back together. So I'm going to cut them separate. So this is the front. And what I'm going to be doing here is I first, I'm going to measure for the length of the dress that I need. I'm going to be using a dress length of 40.5, but the ruffle part is going to be seven inches. So 40.5 less seven inches is going to leave me with 33.5. And I'm going to add one additional inch to that half an inch for my top and um, for my shoulder joining then half an inch for me to join it to the ruffle so i'm going to be looking at 34.5 i'm using a bust of 43 inches so if you divide that by four you'll get 10.75 i'm dividing by four because this has been cut on the fold this right here is the front so technically I have one, two, and then for the back, I'm cutting, cutting on the fold as well. That is two. So altogether, that is four. And when you take your body measurement, you went all around the bust area, the waist area, or the hip area, all across. So that is why you're dividing by four. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just checking to make sure that I have enough on the fold. And I'm going to factor in my allowances my sewing allowance on the side so i'm going to add one inch to that that's going to give me 11.75 and then i'll add another one inch for my rejoining at the middle i'm looking at 12.75 so now i'm going to measure the length of my dress so i'm looking for 34.5 for the length of the dress so we'll start measuring from the shoulder and the shoulder here that we're using is 16. You're going to divide your shoulder by two because when you take a measurement of the shoulder, you go from one shoulder blade to the other shoulder blade across the back. So we are dividing that by two. So 16 divided by two gives me eight and I'm going to add half an inch for my seam allowance. So from this point, I'm going to come back by, come down by nine, but I'm going to be adding half an inch here for that my seam allowance at the top here. So where I have this mark is going to guide me for where to measure my bust, where to put the bust measurement. And we determined I'm going to be doing 12.75 for the bust measurement. So that's what I have here. And then next you want to do the half length that's from your shoulder area to your natural waistline so that is 16 in this case but well, i'm gonna do 16 and a half because i'm adding that additional half that i'm gonna be using to join at the top here now from that point i'm gonna do eight inches around here all the way to here and this is going to be where i'm going to be measuring for my hip line and this right here is where i'm going to be measuring for my waistline 
So I'm gonna make this a tiny and a half, but you should be okay doing anything from around seven to nine. And it also depends on the shape and height of the person as well. But eight is like the standard, the normal standard size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the waist here. The waistline is 39 inches, but I'm going to add one more inch to that just to give it an additional ease. So what I'm gonna do here is again, because it's a waist and we went around the body, to take the measurement, you're gonna divide this by four again. So the 39 divided by four, now 40, because I'm adding one inch additional is. So 40 divided by four is going to be 10 inches. And then I'm going to be adding, there's not going to be a dot in this dress. So all I'm going to be adding is the sewing allowance for joining it at the side, and also the allowance for rejoining it in the middle. So I'm just going to have two additional inches. So I'm going to make this 12. And this I'm going to be linking to what I have here for the bust line. And I'm also going to shape my arm all here. I want to connect this to where I have the shoulder measurement. So if you have um, a cuff ruler, you can use that. If you don't have a cuff ruler, you can also still use your free hand to do that. So the next thing is to come to the hip line right here. Use it for the 4 inches. You divide that by 4, you're going to have 11 inches. Then I'm going to add the extra 1 inch for sewing it at the side. And then the allowance for rejoining it in the middle. And so we're going to link this. We're going to join this to this. And then here at the bottom, we're going to use the same measurement at the end of our dress here. And over here, you can actually do a little bit of a pencil. And I'll just do that. I'll do a little bit of a pencil. I'm going to cut this in a little bit, like one and a half inches. So that it's going to give me some pencil. And then what you want to do is you want to connect this. If you have an hip ruler, it will help you to do that more easily. Otherwise, if you don't have an hip ruler, you can still use a straight ruler to connect it. And then you just make sure you make it curve. You curve it at the sharp edges. So if you don't have an hip ruler, you're not limited. You can still use your straight um, ruler or you can use your free hand to form your shape. So once this is done now, I'm just going to cut out the shape that I have here. So now that this is done, I'm going to cut another one like this. Only that in this, in the next one, I'm going to be leaving a zipper allowance. So I'm going to fold my fabric. This is what I'm going to do now. I folded the second one the same way I folded the first one. The only difference is that I'm adding a little bit more on the side for my zipper allowance. You can go from one to two inches for the zipper allowance. I have one and a half here. So now using this, I'm just going to go ahead and trace out what I have here. And then for the back, we're going to split this into two. I'm going to cut it open. Now I'm going to do the neckline real quick. I'm going to use a neckline of five inches. And I'm going to do a depth of three and a half. Oh, let me do it three inch because I'm still going to I'm still going to be um sewing it in by half an inch and we just curve it. You can also use a curve ruler here as well if that is easier for you. You're going to put the shoulder slope here. I use anything over here between half to one inch when you do your slope. And now I'm going to open up the back. So always remember we're opening the back, not the front. And for this towel, my back and my front is the same neckline. I'm going to move the back out of the way. We're done with this. And then for the front, remember I'm going to put uh, another fabric in the middle of this front 
I want to use this right here. I'm trying to see what I have here. So I'm looking at approximately 8 inches here. And remember, I'm going to be sewing it. So we're looking at like um, 7 inches after I join this. So over here, I'm just going to do 3 and a half. So I might end up using half an inch for my seam allowance in the middle. And I'll just adjust for the extra half inch on the side. So now I have joined that line. We're going to cut that. I'm going to take this and cut that out. I want to do it like in the middle. Because I want this in the middle. So this little part here is about half an inch, so that's what's going to serve now as my seam allowance. So I'm just going to cut that out. I'm going to shape that neckline. So this will be the front. So this is what we're going to be having in the front. We're going to join that there. And we're going to have this like that. So this is what we're going to be having at the front. And I'm going to put some rice stones right here in the front. I'm going to put rice stones after we're done cutting. And I have a video on how you can add rice stones. I'll leave that in the description for you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the bottom, the ruffle at the bottom. And I have a style with a skirt that have ruffles, uh, double ruffles at the bottom. If you want to check that out too. You join all the parts together and then we'll work on the ruffle. That way we'll know exactly what we have at the bottom here. We want a ruffle that's going to fit perfectly. Okay, so I'll suggest that we first finish this upper part first and then we'll come work on our ruffles. To cut the sleeves, I'm going to measure the MO without my seam allowances included. So I just want to take out the seam allowance and see what I have here. So I have roughly 10 inches here without the seam allowances included. So I'm going to be cutting my sleeves. I'm going to use a sleeve length of 8 inches and I'm going to be doing a circle sleeve. My armhole that I'm using is 20 inches. So if we divide that armhole by 6.28, 20 inches divided by 6.28, we have 3.18. And I need a length of 8.8 .8 inches plus 3.18, that's 11.18. We we'll approximate that to 11.25 and I'm just going to add half an inch to that. For the bottom, I'm going to be putting a bias tape, but I'm still going to be sewing that to the bias tape. So I'll do half an inch for the bottom. So we're looking at 11.75. So I'm just going to make sure I have enough. So I have enough this way. And I have enough that way. So I folded this into two. I'm going to fold again. Because I want to do a circle. Over here is my full fold. I'm going to measure 11.75 from this complete fold that I have here. 11.75. And I'm going to measure that all across. And I need to join that together. And I'm going to cut that out. So what I'm going to do is to make my hole, I'm going to not make it in the center. Usually when we do the circle or sleeve, we'll do the hole in the center. Or when we're doing a ruffle, we'll put a radius in the center. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be folding it like this. So I'm just making this 3.25 down here. So I'm going to refold it like that. And this is where I'm going to now put my radius. And my radius was 3.18. And I said I will approximate it to 
we are approximating the radius to 3.25 and I'm going to come up I'm going to be putting the allowance for this up I have always explained this so the reason why I'm going to be adding my allowance up here and not just cutting this over here where I have marked the radius is because if you go ahead and you cut right here where you have your radius by the time you want to sew you're going to be adding some more allowances under here and it's ultimately going to be bigger than your ammo so for you to get the exact thing you want you want to put your allowance up here so I'm going to do an allowance of half an inch for this sleeve so what we're going to do is we'll come up and put out that half an inch at the top of this line so that when we start to sew we're going to cut that top of this radius line so that when we start to sew using that half inch allowance we're going to be at the exact radius that we need so this is what i'm going to be cutting now and so this is what i have and then I'm going to make some bias um, tape for this bottom part of my sleeve. I'll link my video on how you can make a bias tape. I'm going to link that in the description for you to see. So this is why I have folded this so I don't waste the fabric. So I'm just going to cut it this way. I'm just making sure that this right here is long enough for that. So I'm going to follow this longer sleeve length first. I'm going to thread this midpoint right here. Or you can still keep it on and just cut this. Okay, so now I need to shape this other side. So the sleeves are completed. This is my circular sleeve. I'm going to quickly cut facing for this. And for the facing for the front, I'm going to go ahead and first join the front before I now cut a facing for this front. So what I want to do is I want to take one part of the front and I'm going to put my African print fabric. I'm going to be doing right side to right side and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew this and join it to this. And then I'll take the other part too. Right side to right side and I'll go ahead and I will join it to this. Please click the link in the description to watch the next video where I'm going to show you how to complete this beautiful dress. And please, if you're not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to this channel. Leave us a thumbs up and share our videos. Thank you.